Mr. Brown is a very important tiger who works in a very important office all day long. His briefcase contain, contains some very important things, so he keeps it by his side at all times. When Mr. Brown's br briefcase goes missing, his world is turned upside down. He must get his briefcase back. Mr. Brown goes on a wild chase all over town. Will he find it? And what could possibly be inside? Hey reading friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie, and this is Maggie Reads. I hope wherever you're watching from, during school, on a break from remote learning, or just before bedtime, that you've had an awesome day. We are live once again in, the reading, in my reading nook, and today we're reading the new release, Mr. Brown's Bad Day, written by Lou Peacock, illustrated by Allison Friend. Mr. Brown was a very important businessman. He always carried a very important briefcase, and he worked in a very important office. He said things like, sell, sell, though sometimes he said, buy, buy. People bought, brought him important papers to sign, and he went to lots and lots of meetings. Mr. Brown was always very, very busy. But no matter how busy he was, Mr. Brown always went out for lunch. Naturally, Mr. Brown took his very important briefcase. It had very important things in it, after all. Mr. Brown set the briefcase down as he ate his lunch. He thought about very important things. But because Mr. Brown was so busy thinking, he didn't notice a baby grabbing the handle of his very important briefcase and he didn't notice the baby taking the very briefcase away. Suddenly, Mr. Brown realized that his very important briefcase was missing. My briefcase, he said. I must find it. It's full of very important things. Fortunately for Mr. Brown, the baby and the briefcase were not far away. But unfortunately for Mr. Brown, the, brief cost, the briefcase got hooked on an ice cream cart, and the ice cream seller pedaled away. Wait, called Mr. Brown. Wait, that's my very important briefcase. Fortunately for Mr. Brown, the ice cream seller soon stopped. But unfortunately for Mr. Brown, some school children accidentally took the briefcase for a ride. Wait, shouted Mr. Brown. Wait, that's my very important briefcase. Fortunately for Mr. Brown, the line was moving very quickly. But unfortunately for Mr. Brown, when the school children got off the ride, they took Mr. Brown's very important briefcase with them. And then they went to catch the bus. Wait, bellowed Mr. Brown. Wait, that's my very important briefcase. Mr. Brown ran as fast as he could to the bus stop and was just in time to see the bus pull away. Poor Mr. Brown. His hat and jacket were gone and his tie was askew. This, said Mr. Brown, is a very bad day. But the very important briefcase was full of very important things, so... Mr. Brown borrowed a tricycle. Even though it was a little too small, he followed the bus all over town, past the tennis courts, and around the lake, and, but he could never quite catch up. When the children got off the bus, they took the very important briefcase with them. Whose bag is this? asked the teacher. Not mine, said one child. Not mine, said another. Or mine, said a third. It's mine, gasped Mr. Brown and there are very important things inside. By now it was dark, and because it was too late to go back to his very important office, Mr. Brown went home. 
When he got there, Mr. Brown opened his very important briefcase and checked that all of the very important things were still inside it. His snuggly blanket, his book of bedtime stories, and his favorite teddy bear. Then with all of the very important things safe and sound, Mr. Brown settled down to the very important business of bedtime. I hope you enjoyed me reading Mr. Brown's Bad Day. If you did and want to add it to your collection, a link to the book is in the description below. Also, click that like button. It really helps me to know what books you've enjoyed since YouTube channels like mine, whose content is made for kids, can't receive comments anymore. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. And if you're a new viewer, please consider clicking subscribe or asking your parents to on their account. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MaggieCV and my website at MaggieReads.com. Stay safe and healthy. Thanks for watching.